Hello everyone, welcome to the latest video from Alright Development. Today we're going to be talking about adding Firebase to your web-based app using HTML and JavaScript. So this is just the basics for Firebase. We're going to be posting some later videos on more complex stuff, but today we're just going to be learning how to save and pull down data. So if you follow the link in the bio and create a Google account, you'll want to create a new project. Uh, today we're just going to call it tutorial and accept the terms. So once it creates our project for us, we can set up our web platform. Sweet. So click on the get started button for web, which is this one right here. And we're just going to copy this code. This is our API key and our URL to access our database. So all the semantics that we need to call this API are here for us. So let's create a new HTML file completely blank. Uh, if you haven't created an HTML file before, I had to read up on how to do that before proceeding in this video. So in the body of our code, uh, we're going to paste the starter code that we just copied from Firebase and let's indent it to make it look nice all right so now that we have our code inside the script tag we can start writing some JavaScript so uh, first things first um, before we do that uh, we're gonna want to create some body elements in HTML uh, so we can input some data. So let's title our website user database and then let's add some text fields. So these are input tags. The type is text. In the placeholder we can say the name of our user and the ID we'll just call it name field. Close that off. Let's create another input. The type is equal to text again. The placeholder is age. And the ID, age fields. So, um, the last thing we need is a button. So we could submit our um, input. And so I'll just call it submit. And we're going to need a on click function. So if we type on click equals quotes, we're going to need to put in some function there in JavaScript that we want our um, button to do. So that function is going to be a Firebase integrated function that's going to write our data to the database. So let's call this function write data. And in button on click, we can now type write data. So in order to write data, um, we are going to want to uh, create an object that we can store to the database. So an object has a key and a value. Um, so we're going to want to say firebase.database.ref creates a database reference for a certain key. Uh, let's call it the user. And inside the user, we're going to set an object. So inside the parameter for the set function, let's create an object uh, that has a name, and, which is going to be something, and then an age, which is going to be something. So for the name, as we know from JavaScript, we can say, we can access our HTML and say document get element by ID and we named our name um, text field name field and that has a value with some text inside which is going to be the name we want to store so down here for age we're going to want to say document dot get element by ID age field dot value so let's try this out um, first things first what we want to do is we want to go to our database and we want to create database. Start it in test mode, um, just because we're not in deployment yet. So here we are, a blank database. If we go to our, um, if we go to our new web app we have, we can type in the name Noah 
in age 19, click submit, and look at that. We have a user with an age 19 and a name Noah. Sweet, so it worked. We have data stored into our database. If I want to change it to Ugo age 55, it changes in real time, which is awesome. There are ways that you can make multiple users with different keys, but right now we're just going to work with one data object just to keep things simple. So, how do we get this data down from our database and display it onto our website? So, let's create a another piece of text, um, and let's make it say nothing, but give it an ID called data. So um, we're going to need to put some text into that uh, P tag with the ID data, and that's going to be our name and our age. So let's write another function called get data. We're going to want to say firebase.database.ref. This time we're not accessing users, we're accessing um, everything because everything we currently have is in user. And instead of saying set, we're going to say once. So we're going to look for it one time. We're not going to listen for changes. We're just going to say once value function snapshot. So this is getting a snapshot or passing through a dictionary of the uh, of the data that's stored in our database. So in this uh, function, we're going to want to say snapshot dot for each. So this would hypothetically return a list of all the user objects that we had, or all the objects in general that we had, not just users. If we wanted to say ref slash user, then it would just return all the user objects. But we'd say for each function child snapshot. So now we're getting the child. We're going to want to say var child key is equal to child snapshot dot key. We don't really need that, but we're just going to get it anyways. And var child data is the child snapshot dot value, which is the value of our data. And once we get those, we can say document dot get element by ID data, which is the thing we just created down here dot inner html which is its text is equal to child data for name which is what we created in write data plus a comma child data age semicolon so now um, we're going to get the data back that we wanted so now let's call this uh, function right after we write our data. So every time we press submit, our page updates. You're going to need open close parentheses after database. Let's just fix, we fixed our database. Watch for bad bracketing that I had. Oh my goodness, I'm so silly. You need a parenthesis here. And a parenthesis here. Oh, make sure to add a plus sign here as well. All right, let's try it again. Timmy26. And Timmy26 gets pulled down from the database. Um, and if we go into the database and we change it to Timmy27, to me 27 and we call get data just outside of write data refreshing the page gives us to me 27 which is super cool change it to Timmy 37 refresh the page to me 37 so clearly um, you know we can store and retrieve data I will post the source code for this in the description, but thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned a little bit about Firebase.